But let's bring in Alex Biston. I do like that we have more sunlight throughout the day, but these first few days of getting adjusted, yeah. I mean, they are tough. <laughs> It is. And you know what? It's going to be especially tough for us. I am personally going to go to, I'm going to go to bed one hour earlier. Tonight. Good for you, so Alex. So responsible. And I say that now. I guess yeah, exactly. I'm on TV so people can keep me accountable. There but you go. I say that now, but then when the time comes, I'm, I might not. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. We've made it to the weekend. We are seeing uh, severe storms out on the East Coast as well as a, uh, snow at this moment, although for us here in Southern California, uh, that's of course not the story. We're seeing a mostly clear sky. Our hazard yesterday were the very gusty and strong Santa Ana winds. The good news is winds have really lightened up, so we'll continue to see those light offshore winds today. That with high pressure, well, that is bringing uh, warmer temperatures today. We'll see a little bit of a cool down, especially for the in the valleys as we head into tomorrow, but above average temperatures will continue as we head into next week. So if you like the 70s, if you like the 80s, you're going to like what we have for you as we head into next week. Here's your hour by hour forecast across the metro. Uh, temperatures in the 60s as we head later into this morning. And you know what? By this afternoon, we're feeling mid to upper 70s. Downey at 77 as well as Cerritos, upper 70s and Whittier and closer to the water temperatures in the lower 70s. So as a whole, it's going to be a beautiful day here across Southern California to get outside and do uh, what have you, what, whatever. Take a walk, go to the beach. It's going to be a great day all across the region. So we've got high pressure over us. What's going to happen tomorrow is we've got this area of low pressure it's to the north of us. It's going to help increase onshore flow. So some coastal communities, the valleys will feel some sort of cooling tomorrow. Temperatures about five degrees cooler than what we're feeling today. Warmer by Monday and then again slightly cooler by Tuesday. We've got a storm system to the north of us and it's expected to stay to the north. So I don't expect any of this rain uh, to come and impact us here here in Southern California, although we need it, we're not going to get it. We will be staying dry as we head into the next seven days. So your outdoor dining forecast today, it's going to be a beautiful day to sit outdoors. We've got temperatures in the lower 70s for the lunchtime hour and by dinner. It's cool and clear out there. Temperatures in the lower 60s. Here's your seven day forecast across the beaches, the basin and into the valleys too. Temperatures in the 70s from the coast through the metro spots and upper 70s in the valleys this afternoon and temperatures again drop off a few degrees as we head into tomorrow. We'll be into the upper 60s and then temperatures staying on the warm side as we head into this upcoming week. We're talking 80s by the end of the week across LA and Orange County and the Inland Empire too. Temperatures in the lower 80s so we'll be above average if you like the 80s. Well, take a look. That's going to be the story Monday through Friday across the IE and the high desert communities starting off the week with temperatures in the mid 70s and then by the end of the week upper 70s in the forecast. So lots of warmth, lots of sunshine as we head into the next seven days. Back to you. All right, thank you, Alex. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.